already too. It's as gnarly as I could have imagined it being. Just like, this is a lot of fun. I'm just really nervous about how fast I'm gonna be actually flying off the lip. With drop kayaking, when you're really pushing yourself is when you feel more alive, but it's really dangerous. Waterfall running is not something that everybody likes to engage with. You come in with speed and then you immediately go to a vertical free fall. You're going from 45 miles an hour to dead stop. It feels like being whiplashed in a car crash. We take hits, hitting your face with your paddle, breaking your nose. Which is why we sometimes throw the paddles. The benefit of throwing your paddle that creates less chances of hitting yourself with the paddle. With a hydraulic, you have this curtain of water that's hitting the pool and it's pulling you down underwater. If you are in a hydraulic, you can also play dead and then the water will pull you down and pop you downstream. Well, it's kind of sketchy out there. If you go too far right, it has a really bad spot where it kind of folds back in and you would probably just break your boat and die. The Rio Santo Domingo has this super steep section that had never been done before as a complete top to bottom descent. Ah, dude, it's a crazy looking rapid, man. Before running a rapid, you always visualize the line. How are you gonna enter the current? Where are your reference points? A rock or a breaking wave? And where do you wanna be on that lip? I feel like we need a solid safety team down there, dude, and the amount of people that we have right now, I'm not sure if it's enough. On trips like this, you have to trust that your partners are gonna be able to potentially save your life. Because in big drop kayaking, you can plan every move, you can scout every line, but until you're in the water, you don't know exactly what's gonna happen. The most important thing for me is not getting hurt. I don't want that for my family. Hey, what you guys reading? When I matured, I started kayaking. He's been a good teacher, and we've been kayaking together ever since. You got the keys? Sure. Kayaking gives you more mental strength because you're about to run something that scares you. I trust him a lot, and I know that he doesn't do stupid things. But I worry all the time. I just don't tell him. Nice. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. We have two tiny person at home that they are waiting for him. And you always think that something bad can happen 